Right now you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. You're still watching Urban Mix and this is your boy Prince. Always looking fresh, looking clean right here, out here. We're having a good time. Today we are not in the studio, so you can see behind us a lot of big asses, a lot of stuff going on right here. But we got one of the guys that is making it also big. It's all about GA stuff. I mean, cooking jollof and all that. I mean, there's a whole lot about controversy between Ghana jollof and Nigerian jollof. But the man himself is here. He's going to introduce himself and tell us which of the jollof is the best so far. Just introduce yourself. I mean, I know you, but our viewers in Europe, here in the United States, back in Africa, they might not know you. Who are you? Yo, I, I go by the name Chef Shaw, Money Case Kitchen. And today at the all white party, private party, we have Money Case Jollof straight from Ghana. And that's the best Jollof out here. All right. Since, since he is already starting the, the competition, we just want to go straight. Why Ghanaians always claiming Ghana Jollof is the best? Why? Tell me, you are a chef, so you can tell me the reason. Because we invented that. We invented that. We invented jollof. That's why it's the best. I mean, a lot of people from Liberia and all that are talking about jollof came from Liberia. Everybody claiming, tell us a little bit about the invention of jollof. You mean a chef from Ghana and claiming that jollof started in Ghana. Tell a little bit about the invention of jollof. So in the year 1872, yeah, back then, before the British came to Ghana, before they even came to Ghana, before we had our independence, in the year 1872, Ghanaians discovered white rice mixed with tomato sauce with some pepper spices, mixing that together, and they invented jollof. They cooked jollof with their love, with, their, with, with, with passion, you know. With, 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 with substance, with, 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 with God in it, you know. So when you taste Ghanaian jollof, you know, there's, there's something that hits your heart. Like, you know, anytime you visit your girlfriend in Ghana, right, your girlfriend makes you jollof. You know why? Because of the love she puts in the jollof. You know, jollof is about love. Like when you eat jollof from Ghana, you, you, you feel like you're in love. So single people don't eat jollof in Ghana. It's only about couples and those in love. If you eat jollof right now, you fall in love with Ghana jollof or fall in love with a Ghanaian girl. That's why jollof was invented in Ghana and jollof is made in Ghana. And jollof, Ghana has the best jollof. All right, if you can get me right here. I mean, I'm not I'm not a historian of food. He's a, he's a chef and he's telling us about the history about jollof. So then if 18 something, what, 1872 was when jollof was invented. Then how and who brought the name Jollof? Was it the British that came that gave the name Jollof or what? Um, we had a queen mother in Ghana from the Ashanti region called Yasantua. She, she was a war, warrior. Queen mother. Back then, they discovered Jollof before even the British came. So that's why we had the name Jollof Rice. They, I don't know even why they don't add it. They don't call it Ghana Rice. They should have called it Ghana Rice. Like all this won't happen. Okay, so then, then what is the what is where is the word jollof? What does it mean, jollof? Is it an English name? Is it a Ghanaian name? Is it an Ashanti, American stuff? How, where is this name coming from? The jollof. Jollof means Jehovah God. Jehovah God, J, over, love, last, over, forever. Jollof. So Jehovah love, Jehovah's love is. Jehovah's love is the real meaning of Jollof. Man, I mean, this is this is this is the only thing you're gonna get it on Urban Mix only. Today you're getting the history by the man himself. So even Nigerians are claiming and all that, they should forget about it. I'm even confused how they are claiming. I don't know why Sierra Leones are claiming, Nigerians are claiming, Liberians are claiming, even Americans are claiming Jollof. It's Ghana. Ghana Jollof. Jehovah's love. Jollof. Today we've discovered the meaning of Jollof yeah. right here on Urban Mix. So if you're watching me, that's what it is, bro. So let's talk about the Jollof and all that you're having out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the pool party. What do you see about TJs all the time putting this together? It's always massive bringing all these people together. What do you see different about TJ's pool party and other, uh, any other pool parties that you go? So TJ is my little brother. It's, it's four of us. I'm the oldest. TJ is the third to last. 
anytime he does a pool party, I don't I don't attend it because I'm always out of town for holidays and stuff. But this particular one, they called me and they're like, yo, big bro, we need you here. It's a private event. It's not going to be a lot of people, so don't worry about COVID and all that. Just bring the jollof, bring the stew, bring the chicken, bring the beef, bring the pork, bring the uh, ribs, bring the corn, and come do it for us. I'm like, you sure? It's like, yeah, because you're the best out here. I want you to do it. So I'm like, yeah, I came here. I saw it. It's nice. It's going through. Big up to TJ and all the crew. And one love. They love it. Like, they come and stand and say, yo, chef, it's good. I'm like, duh. It's supposed to be good. Everybody knows it's good. It's the best food in the country. Whenever you're hungry, come to Monique's Kitchen, Laurel. That's where we at. We make the best food out here. Jollof, everything. So I'm like, duh, it's supposed to be good. And everybody, you can see everybody chewing. You yourself, you ate it. How you feeling when you ate it? How you feeling? I was, I was blown into pieces because like, that is the reason why we decided to talk about how this Jollof thing is all about. But I mean, it's a good thing to know that the inventors are now cooking the Jollof and we're having a good vibe right here. Just tell me the experience so far at this pool party so far. It's nice. A lot of classy people, you know, you know, grown crowd, you know, a lot of music. DJ, shout out to Tax Sounds, you know. I'm having fun in the corner. I'm just waiting for my, my champagne to arrive on froze because you know how I do. That's how I like it, you know. How do you see Ghanaians coming together to do stuff like this? Because it's always like a problem for Ghanaians to come together to do stuff all the time. People want to do stuff on their own. What do you think that is now bringing people together to be able to put this together? Because I know Nana from Point is here, all GH boys and all other guys. What would you tell Ghanaians who are here in entertainment and all other fields? Like I always tell them, because I'm, I'm out of entertainment right now. I just come here once, two. I just come to see what's going on and I consult nowadays. Like I always tell them, always trying to be one. Because whenever you are one, it's hard for anybody to break you guys. Just be one, collaborate, you know. Whether it's a concert, whether it's a pool party, whether it's you know speeches, just make sure you collaborate with the young people, the older people, the up and coming people. Like every every promoter gotta get together to make it work. And I keep on I keep on telling them, I keep on preaching to them. And nowadays it looks like they're listening. That's how Ghanaians now have like nice parties going on and all that. But it's, it's a nice thing that they, they, they're together now. Big up, big ups to Ghanaians. Get up to every guy, big up. And we're gonna go to his side and see what is happening right there. But you're still watching Urban Mix, and this is your chef that gave you the history of the law. So there is no competition with all my Niger people watching me right now. Don't get mad. The discovery actually happened in Ghana. And ja love means just love. See you on the flip side. You're still watching Urban Mix. You're still watching Urban Mix. And if I'm talking about entertainment, if I'm talking about event, if I'm talking about anything, we're talking about DJ Caesar, we're talking about DJ the, Caesar, right here. I mean, I'm always confused because twin, twin speak, twin speak. this is twin speak and because these guys are twins, I always get confused. But hey, we want to know, how is Corona affecting entertainment? Bad, bad. Bad, very bad, because a lot of artists want to showcase their albums, their songs. They got a lot of stuff developed right now, but they can't come out, show the fans on stage. Nothing to develop, do. So, Corona just shut down everything. But next next year, 21, it's going to be lit. A lot of artists coming out. So, so, so like, as an event organizer right now, we want to know, what are some of the plans that you're putting together to get uh -oh. this in our... We know that the vaccine's going to come out soon. So next year, a lot of plans is going short with shows, bookings, all that is just starting for next year. Everyone just want to be safe. I want to make sure they want to survive to next year. So make sure you guys staying safe from Corona. We're all enjoying a good night, but we're all staying safe at the same time, you know. With your brother, TJ, putting this together. I know you guys are already putting this together all the time. I always see you guys being together. Do you think that togetherness and unity is bringing always, Ghanaians together always, and always. pulling this together? Because Ghanaians, it's Corona, yes, but you're still yes. bringing all this crowd out. Yes, we always got to support each other, show love to each other. If somebody's doing something, you got to show them love, show them support. So TJ did a good job, reached out to all of us, and we all came together, make this happen. So everyone's having fun. You're having fun, right? I'm having a good time. Amazing time, yeah. What is so different about all pool parties when you talk about TJ's pool party? Because that is the second one just this looking time. Around, just looking around. Beautiful ladies, left and right. Everyone having a lot of good drinks, enjoyment, enjoyment, peaceful at the same time, peaceful, very peaceful, very organized, so, yep. What do you have for people that are waiting for next year to pop out? We want to know what you guys get coming out. I can't tell you guys now, it's a secret, secret. Just come out, stay safe, next year's going to be a big banger, twice as much, always. Right now, I can see the chef 
Let me see the bottle that you have right here. That's a so, magnum. On right. froze. On all froze only. All right. So how did you get this bottle? Hey, it's my little brother's party. So anything I want, I get. You feel me? And right now, I'm on a Frosé Rosé. Always. That is what it's up and on the pool side. It's all about Rosé. And you can see that they're popping bottles. It's all an urban mix. Make sure you send to them with the best. Urban mix. Urban mix. Urban mix. Urban mix. Hi, my name is Bianca Beautiful and you're watching Urban Mix. Wow, actually I want to find out my Niger boys and Niger sisters and Niger boys and all this. I mean, don't get mad at me. Do you guys actually have any history pertaining to Jollof, how it was invented? Man, I was so blast when i got this information i wanted to share with you i mean i want to find out did you guys know that jollof was invented in ghana and it was just jollof means jollof jollof means jollof god's love so jollof really means jollof jollof man i was blown away when i got this information i mean if you know something different just come on our social media platform urban underscore mix on instagram facebook is urban mix live and youtube is urban mix tv just drop your comment if you think if you think you have a different story about how jollof was invented man i just got this from one of the chefs coming from ghana and he cooked jollof on the best level new level here in dmv you are calling about i mean if, i just want to know you can call us go get all our information and just let us know we can bring you live or you can do a video telling us if you think that you know a different story about how jollof was invented thank you for always being here with me and this is the first time you're watching this show after you are done right here with me on this channel just go straight on instagram it's urban underscore mix on youtube is urban mix tv and on all social media platform is urban underscore mix and let's make a great family together next week i'm going to be here bringing you whatever is happening in the entertainment industry bring you the freshest video that has just dropped and you know me always going to be looking fresh looking clean see you on the flip side as i bring you more next week right now you're into urban mix make sure you stay in tune with the best